Hello kindergartners. Today we are going to make the quail. So there's a picture of what it's going to look like and you will need the usual supplies, scissors, some sort of a glue, black, brown, and white crayons today. So I'm going to set these aside because we don't need those till the end. I'm going to need my glue and then you will also need your uh, trash tray and your pieces and your gray rectangle. Uh, gray rectangle, as usual, should be in a vertical position going up and down like a door. And our pieces, be careful because there are some, at least one very small piece in there. We don't want to lose that. So our cues. So the first piece we're going to use is the large brown rectangle. So I'm going to set that right there. Um, we have a very small orange piece. I'm going to slide that off. Uh, second piece we're going to use is the small light brown square. So I'm going to leave that one up here also. And then we have three other dark brown pieces. So I'm going to leave those over here off to the side. Okay, our quail fact for today says quails are small, plump birds. Hmm, wonder what plump means. Well, it means kind of fat. It's not like they really are fat, but they're kind of roundish and they're just kind of, they look like they're fat, but they're not really fat. They nest on the ground. They eat seeds and small insects. Wow, their nests are on the ground, which is kind of like an ostrich. Remember, ostriches lay their eggs on the ground. I wonder how they keep their eggs safe. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is glue our cues in the upper right hand corner like that. Then we are going to glue the fun fact at the bottom, glue dots in the corners. And you couldn't see that, but it's way down there at the bottom. Okay, so now I am going to use my larger light brown rectangle. This will be the quail's body. I am going to cut all four corners and magic cut. So hopefully when you're done, it looks like an oval. Okay, I am going to glue that in the middle but I am not going to glue it in a horizontal or a vertical position. That would be vertical, this would be horizontal. I am going to glue it on a diagonal because it's his body and birds don't usually stand like that. Okay, this piece is the bird's head. We're gonna cut all four corners and magic cut those little points. Okay, got that done. Okay, now I'm going to glue this where his head would be and it's going to get slid under his body. So, got the glue dots and I'm going to slide that under his body like that. Okay, now we have three um, brown rectangles. We are going to, um, so the first brown rectangle we're going to use is the middle sized brown rectangle. Um, so that would be our middle sized brown rectangle. Okay, the next one we're going to use is the largest, so that's our last one. So I'm going to put this one up here because that's the next one we're going to use and I'm going to take this one and set it off to the side. So. We're going to use the middle size dark brown rectangle. This is going to be his tail. Okay, get my trash tray. Okay, so I am going to cut two corners, but I'm not going to cut them like this, like we usually cut. I'm going to give them a long, skinny corner cut. So it's going to look really long and skinny. Flip it over, and then I'm going to do the same thing to that side. Okay. Um, after I do that, I'm going to magic cut the little points on the side right here. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this under 
the body, slide it underneath the body, just like that. Okay? The next, the next piece, like I told you, is the, um, it, well, it, it's the largest dark brown rectangle. This is going to be one of the bird's wings. So I am going to hold it in a horizontal position. Now this is going to be a little different. So right here, I'm just going to do one, I'm going to just cut one corner regular. That's just a regular cut like we would do. Maybe a little bit bigger than a regular cut. And I magic cut those two points. Now I'm going to flip it over. So I have this side over here. And now I'm going to do a, a long cut like this. So instead of being a regular cut, it's going to be a longer cut like that. Okay, and I'm about halfway down the short side of the rectangle. So I cut it like that. Now I have a point here that I want to get rid of. And then I have a point here I want to get rid of. And, um, okay, so pretty much done with that. So this is one of his wings. Okay, this wing is going to get glued right here. Now, it's going to get glued like this, so I don't want to put the glue on this side. I want to turn it over. So when you're going to glue this on, make sure you line it up how it's going to be, and then remember to turn it over. Okay, and I'm trying to make this kind of line up in a straight line. I'm, I'm not matching the whole corner, the whole curve of the quail. Okay, our next um, piece is this, the thinner um, dark brown rectangle. Okay, once again, this is going to be a funny cut. This is the other wing that goes on the other side of the body. Okay, so we're going to hold it in a horizontal position, and I am going to cut off top two corners like that, and I'm going to magic cut those um, those points. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do a, a smile cut. Remember a smile cut kind of goes down, across, and out. So I'm going to go a little ways away from the, the edge and I am going to cut down, across, and come back out again. So I guess it's not really down, maybe it's across, up, and out. But anyways, I'm cutting a smile, so hopefully it looks kind of like a smile. Okay, now I got some points going on here, so I'm going to get rid of my points. And I kind of don't like that point, so I'm going to cut it off. Okay, and I'm going to glue that one um, over here. Okay, so once again, I am going to match it up, make sure it's going to be just so, flip it over, add some glue dots, and then glue that where his other wing should be. Hmm, that wing came out funny, I think. Okay. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to fix it a little bit. I'm actually going to cut it a little bit. I'm going to cut it some more over this way. Cut this off. There. I guess I should have done it from point to point. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so our last piece is the small orange um, rectangle. And this is his beak. We are going to hold this and in a vertical position, and I'm going to cut it from corner to corner on the diagonal. So I end up with two triangles. I don't need one of them. He only has one beak. And I am going to glue this at the where his um, beak would go on his face. And I'm going to slide it under, and I'm going to actually point it down a little bit like that. Okay, so we are done with this part of our um, quail. Now we, you need your white, brown, and black um, crayons. 
Okay, there are a lot of details for this, for the, for the um, quail. Let's start with the brown. And um, we're going to make um, kind of some straight lines because they live on the ground. And I'm going to add some tufts. Um, I don't know if you know this, but quails are California's state bird. Okay, and they typically live um, kind of in the desert areas, so they're around a lot of dirt and kind of brown bushes or brown plants because the plants can't live very well in the desert. Um, okay, so now we're going to get the brown crayon and um, actually, you know what, I'm going to switch and I'm going to go with the white crayon. So. Nope, sorry, changed my mind again. Okay, I'm going to put an eye right here, black eye for the quail's eye. Um, and then I'm going to draw a curved line or like a, um, a rain or smile, an upside down smile, and I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to follow the top of his head. So now he has two black stripes. Make them a little bit thick. Okay? Okay, then, um, then I'm going to add lines on his uh, wings so it kind of helps it look like feathers, like he's got feathers on, on each wing. And right down here, I'm going to add some shorter ones because this is like his tummy. going to add some more lines to his tail, so it looks a little bit like a tail. And then I'm going to add his um, feet, legs, feet. So I'm going to do one, two for his legs. And then I'm going to add um, his talons. Okay, so once we've done with that, let's go back to the brown crayon. And we're going to add brown lines on his light brown. Um, so it looks like he's got more feathers. Okay, now we're going to go to the white crayon the white crayon, I am going to add a white line right down the center close to his wing and then I'm going to do the same thing around this wing and then I'm going to add one white stripe between those two black stripes maybe even kind of look like those are make those look like they're connecting and I'm going to put a white ring around his eye and then one of the funnest things about a quail is a quail has a plume which means just a funny little feather that sticks up the top okay and this feather would be like a curved line and then it has kind of a fat thing at the end and then it comes down. And then I'm going to color that in. There we go, our quail. Make sure you turn it over and write your name on the back. But we are done. So you can finish up your quail.